These are Sennheiser SD800S and they need no introduction. Well, gracious people at the audio store provided this review unit and all the opinions are mine. I will add the link in description. It is not an affiliate link, so do check out. Let's start with build quality and design. SD800S are very beautifully and uniquely designed headphones. They are sleek and beautiful. Well, these are one of the best built headphones in the market. While it's a mix of plastic and metal and mostly plastic, the overall materials used are sturdy and are kept in consideration to keep the weight down for a long comfort. Unlike this guy. It comes with two cables with 6.35 and 4.4 mm and an optional XLR denomination. And the quality of cable is bonkers. It's seriously, it's like my dog's leash. It's long and durable with cloth wrapped around the cable. However, the cable is very long. If you're moving around a lot, it's not a problem. It's a boon. It's a very good cable. However, if you're someone like me who likes to sit on a desk and listen to the music, it can be a tedious task to handle this cable. It's kind of annoying for me that I have to handle all this clutter of the extra cable around my table. I prefer short cables like 1.2 or 1.5 meter. But again, both have their pros and cons. It's not a shortcoming, not a deal breaker for me as well, since the quality of the cable is top notch. Build and design wise, in my opinion, Sennheiser outdone themselves. And these headphones are very comfortable. The pads are replaceable, so you can remove them as well as you can use third-party pads like ZMF or Deconi. I found them very comfortable for long usage. The headband and the ear cups are good. Especially the ear cups are large enough to wrap all around your ears, leaving enough room inside as well. There's ample breathing room, one of the most comfortable headphones for long hour usage. Though they still come on some bulky side. Just a thing to keep in mind if you're coming from something like HD600. Now for the technical specifications, these are single dynamic driver headphones with 56mm dynamic driver with impedance of 300 ohm and sensitivity of around 102. These are not very hard to drive headphones. Any entry level desktop, DAC or RAM will do the justice to these. I use them on many stacks such as iFi Zen stack, X-Duo, XD05, BAL2, X-Duo, MH02, Tube Amps, FIOK11, R2R, and even on iBaso DC07 Pro, which is a dongle DAC. And none of them had any issue driving these headphones. So with all this, how does it sound? Let's talk about it. HD800S are perfect for a reference style tuning. They deliver natural sounding vocals and instruments. While the bass is a bit on thinner side, they offer expansive out of the head sound stage. And they maintain overall a well-balanced tonality across the frequencies. Let's talk in detail starting with the bass. While the bass has consistent delivery and the mid bass thump is good, it lacks a bit, especially in those really low sub bass frequencies. It's just dead there. It drops like crazy. If you listen to something that has rumbles, it just eats your rumbles. For example, I was listening to Acid by Lorn. It killed all those fading rumbles from the song. And in general, EDMs are not very enjoyable on these headphones. But at the same time, if you listen to something like Sadness Part 1, the song relies on mid bass and the overall atmosphere and HD 800S will make your day once you listen on it. Which comes to the next part that is mids and that is one word, natural. The mids sound so natural on these. The vocals, the instruments come so lively and at the same time with a nice weight to it and a very natural timbre. The thinness that is present in the bass is not here and it delivers a world-class performance. The female vocals are almost perfect on it. However, the male vocals can have slight body into them. But overall, these are one of the best mids in the headphones. The treble is amazing on SD800S as well. It's sparkly, it's airy, it's open. However, it's on a bit higher side, especially some very high female vocals or cymbals can be a bit more splashy than they should. I feel they carry a little bit more shine than they should, but it helps HD800S in carrying a lot of details as well, which makes these headphones a detail monster. 
These are literal technical monsters. Let's talk about technicalities. HD800S is the definition of resolution. The sheer amount of micro details it puts in front of you is just outstanding. The micro detail pickup in these headphones is just so flawless. If you are a lot into details, just grab it. It's that good. And the sound stage, it's enormous, it's immersive. It literally creates a room around your head when you're listening to the music to perceive all the staging and layering width, depth and height. The one part where most of the headphones struggle that is layering and staging of instruments in the mids. HD 800S does it like a cakewalk. It performs fantastically in all the areas of technical performance. Be it resolution, sound staging, rhythm and timing, imaging, creating an atmosphere. Outstanding. The only place where I feel it needs a bit of work is dynamic range, especially in those low frequencies where it lacks a bit of punch and those really low sounding thirds are gone. These are the best headphones you can buy for gaming. The soundstage, imaging and layering so good that it demolish everything else in comparison for a gaming headphone. Overall, it is an outstanding headphone and it is an epitome of dynamic driver in its price range. Though how does it compare to the similarly priced planar in this price range? Let's compare it to Hi-Fi Menaria. First of all, if you yearn for build and comfort, look no further. SD800S is for you. Hi-Fi Menaria is a poor quality as it gets in a end game. Look at this. This is just like two years old and this is chipping everywhere. Though it's a all metal in comparison to plastic and metal to HD800S. But again, this is a better quality headphone. However, when I talk about sound, there are some serious competition here. Aria boasts 100mm planar driver. In terms of bass, Aria is better. The bass is fast, tactile and has better extension in comparison to HD800S. For mids, HD800S is more natural, more incredible. However, Aria is no slouch either. We are talking 9.5 and 10 here. But 800 takes a clear lead in terms of natural timbre. It has a very natural timbre in comparison to Aria. Treble on both is airy. However, Aria can be a bit too much sometimes. In technical performance, both boasts outstanding resolution, staging capabilities. However, 800S edges Aria in terms of sound stage. While I believe in detail retrieval, both goes neck to neck. I would say it would be a matter of preference. I think if you want energetic sound, Aria is a better headphone. However, if you want detail, a technical set with a natural timbre, HD800S is the correct choice. Personally, I would go with HD800S amongst the two. To me, HD800S excels in some areas and falls short in some. It falls short in creating that oomph factor and the sub bass rolls off even before it starts. However, at the same time, it excels in producing a very natural sound with an expensive and immersive staging. The detail retrieval on these is just on another level. Overall, I think if you're a gamer or love having details in your music, or you want to experience that natural sounding mids with great vocals and that natural acoustic timbre, well, HD800S is your choice. And I would give these headphones a solid 3.5 stars and they are recommended. I am personally going to buy these headphones. I love them. Well, this was it for HD800S. Do share your thoughts. How you liked it? What is your favorite headphone? Share in the comments. And I will see you on the next one. Oh, you're still here. So if you want to support the channel, join the membership of TWX Club. I have two exclusive perks for you, except for all those member exclusive things. One, you will be eligible to buy my gears at a discounted price. And two, you're eligible for special giveaways as a member.